Onivia League of Legends highlights. Win to get this uh, Corky to the late game fairly freely, and then along the way try to shut down the Zeri. I think if D plus Kia win and the Zeri. It's already starting to get a little bit online here, and if she ends up getting a kill in that fight, for example, that is the end of the game, basically, for KT with this composition. Don't Auto do fight. it, Lucid. Oh, he's gonna go in and smite it away and actually hop away, and now, with Showmaker getting the first roam, we got a potential play as Joseph's just gonna have to throw that ult in and leave perfect, as now he has pulled the Rek'Sai under the turret, makes the play, and King and going in for the ult, knows he can't get out, as still does a nice amount of damage, but they're gonna Give that kill over to BDD, the Corky gets here, so I think TK just have to give this one away. Yeah, Kingan doesn't have teleport, so he's just gonna push top side here. Perfect doesn't either, because he did commit to come down to the bottom. BDD coming over here, so Lucid's gonna intercept. Yeah, trying to make a play, but with BDD here, just uh, getting in their face. Good fight opportunity here, Pioshek's still down the flash, but his ult is back up. Tidal wave can be massive here, and D Plus is looking like they're just gonna opt out of the dragon. They got the turret. You wanna it's fight for this? And Kingen over the wall. Lucid nowhere near the dragon, though. Kingen looking to push them away. And you know what? KT's going to respect it as now. Lucid over the wall. They get on top. Aiming the package goes in. And aiming slowed down. Just going to flash away. And the Zeriyumi is so hard to lock down. As we can clearly see here, this fight very broken up at this point already. Kingen getting in on to death. And that's enough damage. Lucid with the assassination. Taking out the enemy. And he carry. But now it's perfect's turn. But Zeri just has that extra amount of mobility to get over the wall and get away from the Cassante. It's currently a 4v4 still, but you see the health bars of DK a bit low, and now it's Lucid out of the fight. It does look like they'll give this one up yeah. for now. There's no way to contest you, even with BDD out of rockets, they won't uh, fight. Okay, well, Kingen. Kingen wants to go in alone. He does have a Yumi, and they're trying to take out Perfect. They're going to get the Cassante. And I guess the fight wasn't over. And, you know, the BDD is out of rockets here, huh. so he's not able to do a ton of damage. Traded back here, and uh, the rockets he is firing are being blocked by Kel. And I'm not sure if DK really cared too much about it Don't at forget, all. Showmaker can disengage this as well. He's very low on mana, though, so he really has to be very careful. All right, Tidal Wave a bit desperate. as now the kick comes in, but BDD is going to get away, and... Into the back line goes perfect, but the zoning is in place for DK. Still, the smite is going to go the way of Pioshek as a very messy fight comes in. Lucid, not really in position. King and going in as he's got a Zeri and a Yumi with him to just push forward. And this is what we were talking about aiming. Just has all the room in the world to just sprint at the enemy team. KT, they get the dragon, but they lose the fight in a huge way. Yeah, very poor team fight for KT Rolster, getting completely outclassed by D plus here. Showmaker never even needed to ult. Wasn't under too much threat. With his Leandre, is able to burn through Perfect's health bar here. <laughs> and D-plus are going to start the Baron as King in with They're his Tremor sets. Away. Yeah, he knows where you are. You cannot hide. The ground doesn't lie. I mean, he knows you're standing still. <laughs> it's just, you're not going to get away from him for now. I mean, King in, yeah, he's just going to elect to ult in. I thought maybe he would just let him go because this will take a while. TP to come and punish this. Um, meanwhile, Baron is taken, just uh, to remind everyone. <laughs> yeah, this is going to take a long time, okay? Uh, TP's coming in, and and now maybe you want to give this one away. Both Showmaker and BDD TPing just to do much on the Rek'Sai. And yeah. now they have Baron. They're getting a massive gold, the 5,000 here already. I mean, you just look uh, at the support structure for the Zeri. I mean... <laughs> He's got Michaelis, he's got Redemption, not to mention the Yumi. He's got Ghost of Unthirster, you mentioned. Nobody will touch this Yumi, or this, well, the Yumi and the Zeri. And even if aiming went super far forward, made a big mistake, I don't think it's going to matter. I mean, you would have to burst him down so quickly. And I, I just don't think it's possible at this point in time. Not to mention everything else in the comp. 300 yeah. off this one Baron. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I mean, Pioshek, this has been the game for him. Like, he's played relative... In these team fights either, just because the Pryo targets the Zeri and the Azir are so far away, and if King gets up by a package, he's like, what, whatever. I have Spirit Basil. Yeah. He was not there, but he didn't necessarily know that. And he's just, again, he's Rek'Sai, so he can kind of just do that. And they're just playing with their food, trying to keep them away from the Baron as it's being two man. KT have to be super decisive here, and killing aiming probably isn't going to be the way. Yosik is going to get in on time. It is incredibly low. They can't quite see it, but now they are going to. As Lucid in the front line taking a bunch of damage, and Lucid has to flash away. Meanwhile, Showmaker pretty low himself as Kingen 
getting into the back line against four people, he will eventually go down, but so will Perfect. So the tanks on both sides, the top laners do go down in the tree. This time we got four members. Uh, still top laners are dead, but teleport's available for both. And the Rocket's coming connecting. in. Yeah. yeah, aiming's gotta be careful. He's just gonna back out of this one. As Kingen is TPing in and gets bubble, that's not necessarily the angle we're looking for. Thank you for the leash. Maybe it's a flip as the kick comes in, but the damage isn't there. What hell? And Pilchik gets in and he takes it away. There is the sweep and aiming is still alive. He is flashing on the enemy team, looking for the kills. The redemption comes forward. And how many kills can he get is really the question. He picks up two as the knockup comes in from Perfect. Maybe able to take out the Seri. Can he get the job done? Another knockup from Perfect, but it's not quite enough. As Deft and Beryl, they stay alive just to keep the hopes of KT here after taking Bears? Them. Yeah. So now when aiming presses ult, um, he's going to sprint at them. <laughs> Very, very fast. They have three. Despite the Baron, as you can see, BDD is trying to get that top turret bounty gold. Uh-oh. Perfect. Aiming going on in. The rest of the team right there for the side of KT. But again, he he's basically a juggernaut. I mean, there's there's not a small amount of damage that you need to put into aiming, and you need to lock him down. Cullen comes through and barely does anything. As now ult into Lucid. Or actually, that was Kingen. Yeah. He's just in the front line <laughs> like, OK. I'll just tank this up. Jungle cosplay, man. It's just, it just keeps <laughs> happening. He doesn't care. And, I mean, BD comes back, doesn't get the top turret here, but how much can he actually get done with this poke? He's out of rockets already. Yeah. And, and they're going to lose this in hip regardless. In hip will go down, for sure. The question is for on how much are they going to lose this. Lucid goes in, messes it up, and now we have a play onto the Zeri. But again, the Cassante lockdown is not enough. And he's just going to sprint into five people, takes out death, and that might just be enough. The kick is huge as Lucid will make up for the former play. And that should be the game. Barrel all alone and is basically just penta fodder for aiming. Let's see if he does give it over. That's really the only question at this point. DK waiting on the wave to come in, but this game number one, have no mistake, it will go the way of DK as they start off the series very, very strong. They're gonna try to give this Penta over to Aiming. Can he get it down as a bubble? Barrel says no. Barrel, Barrel says, says no. no. Look at Aiming's face on the player cam <laughs> as well. They want it so badly, they will take the Nexus instead. I think a worthy consolation prize is deep. As when you go in for the engage and you look for the ult, it's really easy to just kind of step back and lock you down once the Crescent Guard expands. Some big summoners burn, such as teleport. <laughs> <laughs> Four teleports down, Valdez! <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if that counts. Um, I think the, the scuffle for the blue buff counts as action, but teleports, are they even really a summoner? They are very valuable, but not uh, very combat heavy, you could say. Although, many times they are used to win fights elsewhere on the map. As we know, teleport is very valuable. Um, we do have a bit of a tussle once again up on the top side. Ghost is going to be popped here from King In. Actually looking to make this happen, waits for the hop, but the hyper procs are coming in and Perfect is just going to flash the knockup as Lucid is here, flash up forward from Lucid and from no hop, he will go down. First blood given over to Kingen while KT take the first trade. Yeah, and that Gnar counter pick not working out so far here in terms of this trade as obviously he does have a CS lead, but that's going to be washed away by this pick here coming through there. Kingen. Good vision control here from D plus this entire game. They've really been able to give depth, uh, or rather give aiming a lot of advanced notice while Koshik is doing. Yeah, as Kulang now going to come forward, depth eating nearly the entirety of that. And now with a little bit of a roam down from Showmaker might come through, but they're going to try to take out the Nami first. Q will miss, but it's not going to matter. Kellen flashes and dies immediately. As DK, they were trying to set up a bait here on the Pyoshik, but they will lose their Nami very early on. Can they take out Pyoshik is the real question. As or Lucid just going to throw that ult in early on and will take him out. Now the follow-up here on to Aiming as Event Horizon will come down and zones everybody away and keeps them safe. But that was pretty Flashes close. the kick and he gets kicked the other way and then they just turn on to Pyoshik and it's just a one for zero, right? Um, oh, that extension on the stun is going to be huge. The all-out comes out and perfect with no Veganar in sight. He's going to try to get away from this one. It's not going to happen as now Pyoshik comes on in and Kingen picks up a solo kill. Yeah, and that does mean that DK are going to try to make a move for this. Let's see when the TPs come in, as it is in the pit. Lucid 
Just trying to zone this one away, but it goes to the forest. Death's gonna smite it himself with this Q. As now trying to turn on a showmaker, the damage not quite there. In goes Pilsik, immediately gets shuffled out. And that might just be the end of this one, although they're trying to chase down King in here. The hook is gonna come in, and Event Horizon will be good enough. They take out the Gansante, it's a shutdown for Pilsik, and KT right back in this game. They want more here, but I don't know about this. Oh boy, the kick over the wall, and Pils is just gonna flash away from the last little bit of that one. As here comes Lucid thinking about it, but... This series just is going to live up to the, the yep. KTD plus hype is a mid to try to clear that wave. King has to be so careful about overextending here. Does have his unstoppable, of course, but BDD can lock him down. He uses it to get away from some of the other forms of CC. There oh, it look is. at that angle! Oh, God. And he's going to hook the wall with Barrel, otherwise he was dead. Kind of a sharp angle there, not really Barrel's fault, but... A very nice E there as another hook does come in. The ult off the Showmaker, but he immediately goes down. It's a trade, though, as the mid laner DK goes away. And now King in. He is stuck in the box, and that will be the end of him. A two for one in favor of KT. Yeah, very messy fight there, but it is ultimately KT who get the win there. Some great hooks from Barrel. Uh, a teleport angle for him now. And D plus very comfortable to actually just start the snuff, and it looks like KT are going to give it up. Yeah. Uh, DK, no, they, they say, okay, well, his Narbar oh. is running out. Um, now, Pioshik is still going to look for the steal. As he is leaves in, he's got a very nice angle. He's looking for the kick. He wants the kills right into the cage. Goes aiming, and down he goes. As now Lucid is going to be able to pick up the Drake, but it's three kills to the side of KT. A big team fight win for them. Kill for BDD, a kill here. A fourth one for Pioshik, who sets it all up with a kick onto aiming. They want more here. Showmaker does have his ultimate, so this is very tricky to play out. Oh, perfect. He's going to get caught here. Goes a bit early, but okay, finally traded back as the dive is going to go the way of KT eventually, right? Okay, they finally traded two for two. It's a double kill for Showmaker. Yeah, I don't... Not think, the cleanest. I, I think no. you definitely wanted to play that. that have waited many, many items. In fact, all of the items to just not build it. Uh, but I'm sure he will. Perfect now in a little bit of trouble. Actually, a lot of trouble as the bubble is going to come through here as well. And King is just tanking up the turret. And that is a kill fed over to aiming. I think DK have identified, hey, Perfect's not having the best game. Let's isolate this guy and try to pick up some extra kills. Yeah, I mean, he has four deaths. He has only a Triforce and a Phage. He's really sitting on right. He's got two long swords he picks up. But he's significantly behind, so he can't buy time. He's zoned away from the turret there. Uh, they're and doing this Baron. AT are going to do this Baron while Def continues to show mid, but I think they will figure this out. There's no vision here at all for D+. They are going to rush over now. Yeah. Perfect does not have TP. There's no way KT can stick this, but... Uh, okay, just run in a straight line, and maybe you avoid it all, but yeah, he's just dead. Crescent Guard not going to save him there. Um, no vision, and just desperation. Kind of a... Ten seconds. I still don't really believe that they can do this, but I mean... Maybe just looking for the turn. They have a decent amount of damage with Vagar and Varus. And the Nar, the Mini-Nar, coming on in. And as you mentioned, no flip because Lucid should not be here. The Event Horizon is placed down. They're looking for the turn now. Kingen is taking it up, and so is Beryl. And guess what? The Cassante is much tankier than the Nautilus. And in the trade, DK will happily take that. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's... Okay, see if this third event horizon is going to be enough to get them something here. BDD should have it in a second. There it is. Ooh, it's going to go the way of Lucid, though, as he does take it down. Meanwhile, it does look like we have a sacrificial showmaker who does take a massive ult to the face. Yeah, he thought he got out of there, but the Vagar ult will get you every time. If it's triggered before you slide, it's still going to hit you where you land. And that'll be a miracle here. I mean, Kellen doesn't have ult. Showmaker is down for 20 seconds, even with TP. This is just... A pipe dream. Kellen's gonna try, or rather, King is gonna try to flank. Yeah, they're gonna send it 15 seconds until Showmaker is even alive. As will the seal come through? Lucid goes in, he steals it away! Away from Elise in! How does he manage to do that? As the flip comes through, and King, and he's still having some fun on the backside of this one. Eventually he goes down, but merely a Cassante moment, but it's a DK moment regardless. I mean, Lucid gets two critical objective takes, it's his third of the game. He's able to secure the first Hex Tech, gets the second one, now the Baron. And KT did not do their due diligence against the Xinjiao. And it's so fantastic for D-Plus's composition. And it's going to be a huge problem here if they give any more. Barrel going to eat that call. Yeah. I am... Uh, he's not very tanky with just a Knight's Vow. I am very worried about KT in this... In range, so you have to create that extra space. And Showmaker as well having to get on in there as Bubble is going to come down, but 
Just desperately trying to take out this mid tier one. They will. Get well, it's uh, critical. It's not a the carries. So they just gave it away. Question. Okay. Um, they're just going to fight instead, I guess. The Chain of Corruption comes through, and Pyoshik is just going to get stunned here on the front line. Not going to engage on that one, but now the Gnar into the wall. But that's Lucid on the Shinzhou. Takes zero damage. In goes Pyoshik and Barrel once again. But the damage is coming out here from Deft and BDD to push them away. Aiming not quite able to get access to that back line. And now it's Showmaker gone. Does look like DK does not want to follow up on this one. No, the real prize of the dragon though is uh, Barrel. Or you could just face check in. That might just work. They're going to trade Cassante for Nautilus. And Barrel will take that. Kellen looks like he's just fish food at this point in time. He's going to be putting the cage flashes away as a few lands. And once again, in goes Pilsic, but he's going to be taken out by Lucian who flashes away and gets away from the enemy team. I mean, they don't have to do this, but no. they really desperately want to, I guess. I guess so. I mean, look, KT. Jows, that's not great, but Showmaker is ulted here. And it's a very messy fight for D+. Like, they didn't contest, and then they opted into a fight they couldn't win. Lucid on the flank. Uh, we're just charging on in now. Lucid. He does Crescent Guard eventually, but now he's locked down pretty much forever. Very nice block here from Kingen to keep his jungler alive. Death Cap's done here for BDD. And this Baron is live, and Lucid losing his whole health bar. His flash is down now as well. Bottom river as KT looks to push ahead as it's Deft alone on the backside. He's just being assassinated by aiming, and 1Q will get the job done. And immediately the Varus is just gone. And that should be the Dragon going over to D+. Super greedy from Deft, but he wanted to get some poke down onto the back line while the rest of his team was pressing the river brush. And he is just 100 to 0 by this Lucian. No as Aiming is looking to come on in. Pyoshik on the flank here. And it might actually work out if Aiming just going to face check this one. And now it's his turn to get caught to 280 carries. Just being isolated and killed for essentially nothing. And King and lost half his health bar. Barrow's going in. Oh, he's going in. I'm not sure about that one. But if he can bait a big fight for his team, it might be the answer. But he is being chipped away. And down he will go. But the stun comes in. It's Mikhail's to save King and now. Showmaker gets in with the shuffle into that back lane. They take out the Event Horizon player that is the Vagar. And BDD is Deft taken back. out, but now Deft is here. Perfect's here. They're on the chase. And Lucid doesn't have an ult. He's going to be taken out as... Man, this what really a is a boxing match, isn't it? It really is. What a silly game. But Deft comes back and saves the day. That was... We'll a regularly pick this one up. Guma as well, because... Just a huge amount of poke damage as hey. uh, the cage is already down. The damage is being done. They're just going to take it away. It's Hextech Soul to the side of KT, and it's another objective that D plus Key are just going to give away. And we're not fighting in the neutral. D plus just said you can have it. Aiming was pushing bottom, and D plus just completely lose focus. Chick, yeah, he's uh, he's hiding on Bush, and this is some of the ways he's been able to get huge plays for his team, but this time it's a Cassante that he finds, not the uh, best target, but it's still enough damage with the Vagar at this point in time. And now Perfect on the Meganar looking for the forward play. He's gonna get this flash on in onto Lucid, who is caught out and slowed for pretty much forever and has to flash away. Now aiming uh, is dead. Okay, well that was not the angle he was looking for. That is, that's, <laughs> <laughs> is that just game? I think it is, right? No, they, they don't have enough minions. Media is going to push this wave in. They don't have Baron buff either. Showmaker is getting in there desperately trying to keep this wave away from the turret. Uh, but there is a cannon wave, a cannon minion rather, and that should be enough. All right, nice try, Showmaker, to clear that wave. Would have bought them enough time maybe for Amy to come back, but not going to uh, happen. Okay, well, that's the end of him as well as one by one the dominoes fall and KT. They are going to win at this game at number two, and we absolutely have a series all over our hands. And I don't even know what this is going to look like for the rest of it. Who's can bail this lane out on the Nocturne pre six? He will have a lot of agency into this Vagar later on into the jungle. counter pick on jungle. And what that does mean is that, yeah, you can see the entire comp on both sides and make the best choice. As Bubble is going to come in here, that's a bit rough for Barrel, who might be in some trouble. Now they're just going to go all in as he presses Q towards him and burns him to a crisp. Barrel going to pick up that first blood. You silly D plus bottom lane. You thought the combo was there. You thought Barrel was in trouble. He's got the heat. He's going to press Q towards him. He's got a heal and an ignite. And yeah, Lucian does a lot, but Rumble does more. Meanwhile, Meanwhile what? In the top side, perfect coming up with a solo kill. 
Raptor, actually. No, and Barrel, if he hits six, I mean, okay, he's just hit five. Looking at his XP bar, I was like, maybe he's in danger, but no, he's he's got plenty of time on that one. Oh. Lucid. Lucid's like, I'm trying desperately to hit six. Yeah, I want please, six. Please give me my jungle. Give me some. Oh, and the interrupt on the back here as well. Barrel's Comet comes through. Pioshik's going to get this dragon. There is no punish here for Barrel. Like, Aiming wants to. But guess what? You don't win this trade. You never do. You, you bubble never comes do. in and uh, nope. Another shield comes in and Kellen does bait this out as, you know, King and knows the grubs are taken. Probably expected it back there. Just wanted to shove this wave in. But you have to also remember Pioshik's there as Hooney is hey, loving this. the rumble. <laughs> Getting a big thumbs up from Hooney. <laughs> he also did like basically the, the meme face of the guy that yeah. was looking at the computer. I love it. Um, 1,300 gold for perfect. 800 uh -oh. time. Maybe gone a little bit too far this time, Barrel. As finally we see the value out of the Nocturne. Presses his R and does call Survivability on Rumble is not as durable as a lot of other supports. Yeah. Just uh, a little bit too close here. Nice bait from Kellen and Aiming. Just to get him close. Knows that Barrel's powerful. Meanwhile, now he's ganking the top lane. And King and he's like, wait, what the hell? Why is this guy here? Even casts his ghost. Doesn't matter. He just gets flashed on and killed. Well, this rumble is starting to become a very large problem. Spreading his love across the map. And Lucid, also not safe. He wants to do Krugs. Barrel flashes. With the Hex Flash. Hex Flash rumble. And do new tech. <laughs> <laughs> what I was just thinking about, too, because they're really going to have to go back to the drawing board for game four as well. Speaking of which, they are going to pass that paranoia in onto the ass who does flash away, but not enough help here. And now Pioshik all alone. You see Death trying to help him here a bit. Lucid gets pretty low, and now a TP from BDD. Who's looking for a bit more the flash Q, and two people caught in the cage, but Cleanse on through from aiming. He's not able to quite do enough damage. Pioshik thinking about it, but it's another kill. Going the way of BDD. A huge value teleport. And perfect looking for a solo topside. Oh, Didn't even have is... to TP. Yeah, King and... Is he even going to cast it? Okay, he is. He's going to get him under the turret, and... Now goes unstoppable, doesn't matter. Perfect, just way too far ahead in the stop lane. Yeah, so he went Cleaver first. He is collapsed here from DK onto this turret, but everybody on the side of KT now looking to get on in as the arrow is going to ring true. Death does not miss those, and that is the end of Showmaker. Even going to throw out an Emperor's Divide. And Lucid was in there as well, so he has to flash away. Yeah, and I, I, I really misidentified. I thought Showmaker was trying to set up a bait here with Lucid to kill Perfect, but actually Perfect was just like, no, he has no idea I'm here, expected me to back, and then he lurks, and then they collapse onto the Azir. Showmaker had no plan there. He's just going to instantly die, and now Barrel will charge this turret in. Used his Equalizer already. So not going to be following up with anything crazy after this charge. And they can just put up the Event Horizon and back away. Dragon is live. It's Hextech Soul again. They know he's in there. They're pinging this. They know that King is in there. But the rest of the team is very far forward as Lucid. Going to get one flash. But at the end of the day, it's just a dead King on the backside of this one. Now he's made of cardboard. And uh, he has burned down. Barrel just pressing Q. And he's like, all right, you think you can get me? I have flash, by the way. Didn't have to use it. Perfect is level 14. And he is sprinting at the enemy team. Meanwhile, Posick going in, taking a 1v2 and winning. KT are so far ahead at this point in time. As one Q could get the job done, but not going to go into the Azir. As he nearly gets taken out by the Event Horizon as well. KT and just forward. D plus lost the early game here. And then we saw some crazy poor decisions, like aiming, for example, looking for the flash on the barrel and stuff like that. The wind is out of the sails of D plus, and will they be able to recover going into game four? As another arrow. Oh boy, here we go again. And the combo is just utilized in Showmaker again. We've seen this before. He's going to use the Emperor's Divide just as like a. Uh, a parting gift. He's like, okay, see you later. It was fun hanging out, and now I'm dead. Uh, that's going to be the end of Kellen as well, as DK are really kind of falling apart at the seams. Well, you know, Showmaker's a frustrated player right now, but Harry in this game, he is punished twice by arrows from depth. He's like, you want to take this fight? Sure, let's go. I don't know about it, though, as he is going to be shut down, and now King is going to pull Pioshik over the wall, and immediately KT giving them some angles back into this one. I don't know why Lucid is here. But I, I've given up on questioning, you know, the logic of certain things in this series at this point. Lucid on Calculated. the run. Woo. Yeah, no, he's, he's dead. Um, yeah, just, just, just flanking. 
So probably learned it from Pull Bay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, some of the draft things and, and how that you know the draft is now a little bit tougher for D plus, but also just from a gameplay individual player perspective, could be rough. Is perfect. Yeah, he knows he's in trouble now. As here is aiming, and he's fed. He's tanky. Is he tanky enough? I mean, they're TPing into this as well, just to make a hundred percent sure. And aiming will get the big shutdown. You see some pings on Baron, but K2 were not in a position to really go for that. No, and so BDD teleported to the inner turret bottom side because he couldn't teleport. He didn't feel confident he could teleport. See how this one goes. They're going to just try to burst it down, essentially. Aiming on the front line, just trying to burst away Barrel, and the culling gets so much value. The Ash Arrow is down, and the Equalizer doesn't even get much. And now the peel with the ultimate here from the Nocturne, and the Paranoia, and all of a sudden, DK, they give themselves a chance, but now we got a very scary Renekton coming on in as we're just going to move forward, and the flash is not good from Jeff. They take out the entire bottom lane of KT, and now it's a 5v3. I don't know if they really want to go for this one. BDD pretty low as well. KT are still in a really good spot in this game, but we were right in the <laughs> obituary perhaps a little bit too early as D-plus make, D makes some clutch plays, get some shutdown gold here, are also going to get the bounty off of this turret. We're able to secure Dragon and the 5,000 gold team. Yeah. See if they can do it. Well, there's Vision. There's a Nocturne. He, he does not have his ult, but he has Flash, and it's just going to be a flip again, and it goes to the Nocturne! Again! Lucy going to steal that one away! As, yeah, they're kind of just food at this point, but Kingen going to pick up a kill himself. Over the wall comes Barrel alongside a perfect, but Gaming has some space now, putting in some damage. The cage is just going to save them, but KT, they weren't in a place where they had to be saved. They were so far ahead, but now it's anybody's game. Yeah, now D-plus has even to if anyone overextends. And you are feeling the lack of an engaged support here a little bit. All right, well, he's going to get the knockoff on a barrel. He's dead, and the Equalizer is desperate. The angle here from aiming is beautiful. Alongside of his support, and now King is going to go super deep on this one. In goes Pilsing and Perfect, desperate to take out aiming, but they can't quite do it. Flashing in front of the Q, but this Renekton may be just too gigantic on the back line, going up against Lucid, who barely gets the kill with the Stride Breaker. All right, Deft also who in this wins one, in this fight. I mean, the Q comes in. Showmaker, he Showmaker's <laughs> caught between a low health Renekton and a low health Ash. It just decides to chase neither. Is perfect. Will win there on the side. All right, and Reese showing off with the zoom out. They get the blue trinket in, but at the end of the day, they just got to give this one up. There's no chance for a steal because they just don't have control. So KT at least get that one. But Showmaker's got other ideas on the bottom lane. Yeah, he's level 18 and does a decent amount of damage to turrets very quickly. Now, without high, how, how high the emotions are running on these players, the tension is real. Perfect, we'll get this mid turret down. Seeing the Hex Tech Soul. Barrel looking for an angle with the Equalizer. There it is, gonna hit pretty much everybody in the front line. Nice amount of chip damage just to allow them to push forward. Arrow as well utilized as immediate Mikhail's comes in. They want to hard engage to DK as the front line is just being melted. Down goes the Vi, and Perfect nearly goes down as well through the Dominus. As right now, Showmaker and Aiming, if they can get in range, they will blow off a target, as we just saw there. BD is going to rush top side here. And DK maybe just looking for the flip. That uh, could also be Nexus for Elder. We'll see how far he wants to go. He's not TP and into this one as there is vision in the pit and it goes to the Vagar, as you would expect. And Showmaker, he's still getting to work. They got to stop these backs. I don't think they're going to be able to. BDD TPs out of it and he will just barely be able to save the base as the Elder go in the way of KT. They will win the fight and Showmaker here. Ooh. Getting pretty spicy. I don't think he's going to win through the Elder and the stun. And KT, they just barely get the job done. Another wild and crazy game of League of Legends for KT and D+. We're now up to oh, nine boy. of them this season. <laughs> nine crazy KT D plus games. No normal ones, just crazy ones. Just ones that you are on the edge of your seat gripping tightly. If you're a fan of either of these teams until the very end, you just do not know what is going to happen. KT had the advantage there. D plus decided to commit to the split push. It's not enough. The Vagar damage against this Rek'Sai. Yes, she has a ton of sustain, but the range advantage and the fact that you have Lisa in here makes it a very threatening. The two junglers just totally avoided each other. But now they're going to wait for quite a long time. Perfect's going to get knocked up here and might be in some danger. 
as could have maybe even just been a solo kill, to be honest. And it will. It's just going to be a solo kill. King and solo adventure continues <laughs> as he picks up first blood. There you go. Uh, observer vision, but it's very up. much on vision. Yeah. And KT don't quite know, although they can easily suspect now. Pioshik knocked up mid dash, has to flash, but he is so dead. I mean, there's just no getting out of that one after no dash, no flash, and just punished for a bit of an aggressive invade. D plus taking a huge lead in this one, Valdez. 400 gold. They will pick up. Try to 4v4 on the Chemtech Drake. This one get could get pretty dicey as Lucid. Not even gonna go for him for it. It's a big sweep from the side of Showmaker, and now the AoE damage is coming on in, and it's all coming up. K or rather DK in this fight is now barrel very deep in this one, and he will obviously be taken out eventually. Question is to who? Yeah. Yes. yeah, they're just going to give it over to Showmaker. A massive win for DK in the play. I, mean, I saw Yoshik having a lot of discussion with the coaching staff during the yeah, break. And Yoshik here alone might not be enough with a rotation up from Lucid. Gold yeah. card is all he's got. Now he doesn't quite have it. Uh, Lucid is here. They're not going to quite dive this one yet as we have Talia on the way as well as he gets uh, kind of bullied here. But now with the Senna help. Maybe it's enough. They're going to try to turn this one off to Perfect, who is incredibly low. And again, Kangen is just unkillable. And so BDD moves in and uh, just dies after Showmaker makes his own TP play. And now Perfect is, uh, yep, just going to be sniped by Kangen. That was your only chance as KT. I think to turn this Point game gold is going to feel like a consolation prize, but nothing nothing else is, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, no, that, that, that doesn't stop it. Perfect. <laughs> Now he is in a lot of trouble, I think. Um, well, is he? Stun comes through. Here's the knockup. He's getting run down by a quote-unquote support TK. As we know, he is farming, so he's not quite a support, but especially with the frozen <laughs> heart at this point. Yeah, he's uh, he was a little bit of danger there, but ideally, obviously, Kelly gold in this one. My god. Yeah, I mean, 625 for Rek'Sai, 500 for Showmaker, but a gold bottom side as well. It's 12 out of 15 plates. And Kingen is just like, you guys can't hurt me. Uh, well, they're going to try. Um, no, yeah. no, no. They tried. That, that's not the way it works. He's ulting back in to three people. He doesn't care. It's now a gold card comes in, and here's Pioshik as well to try to win this one. Is it enough damage? No. Nope. He's going to heal up again. And eventually, I think as the turret goes down, maybe, okay, they finally get the job done. But it's in trade for an inner. They needed four people. They needed four people, and that means aiming and Kellen are just getting bigger and bigger topside. Lucid is also going to get the Herald. And this Rek'Sai pick once again for King and coming up huge in a completely very comfortable spot in this game. Don't get me wrong. This time, okay, but last. Is it enough? I mean, I, I think it is enough. Can they be clean enough to not throw the lead? Now, D plus. If we get to 25 minutes, and then they start losing, that's when that's when that's when it happens. Like we scientifically, it's been proven. Like if D plus can win the game before 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lead. <laughs> True. Statistically speaking, they're, they're having a good chance. As BDD will stop this uh, charge from going through, but that is going to be at the expense of his ultimate here. And that means that D Plus are just going to push elsewhere. But my issue is that this is a Senecom. And the Tom Kench is starting to get well and truly tanky here. I mean, yes, KT had a Bagar. But I think Senna, a little bit more oppressive when it comes to the late game in terms of what she can do in team fights here. There's definitely some magic could happen here, but you're dealing with Showmaker, who's also on two items now on the Sazir. I just don't see it. Well, he's going to try to get it as the sweep comes in, but Showmaker just going to be devoured as well. And he'll be totally fine. Barrel has to flash away from this one. As he goes back in, gets the hook. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. As now BDD going to trade it back one for one in the support role. Very scary there for the side of KT, but they are able to get that kill. Onto the Tom Kench. And they continue to siege here. Lucid is on the flank. <laughs> oh no, BD. He's getting wrecked side right now. And yeah, he's even going to get flanked on by Lucid. And they tank up the turret to make that happen. They don't even need to necessarily do this as now it's going to be a massive shutdown going into the hands of Death. Play with it. Death said, uh uh. Backs, well, it's just a back, but stands directly on a ward. And dies. Yep. And now the Hextech plus, Drake. We'll get the Hextech uh, soul point. And the game continues, but man, they have so much control right now. It's just small, small victories for the side of KT Rolls, but never enough. Kellen 
Super tanky here. Doesn't have uh, any resources, so let's see how tanky he really is. It's going to take a while to do this. I mean, they're going to try to burst down the TP turret, and they get it down, but the TP does come through from the side of King, and it's a 4v2 at this moment as King is up against the wall. He couldn't do anything. He couldn't move, and that's going to be the end of Kellen. But it doesn't matter because your entire base is getting killed. Yeah, I mean, this is just a push to inhib. They got the inner turret here in bottom as well. You I mean, got Kingan's teleport, and you got a kill onto the Kench, but they just don't think the D plus tug of war. Yeah, in the enemy jungle here for DK, and now they're going to look for Barrel, who does not uh, have a pull into the wall, it seems. Now he's going to use it, but he's already dead. So that's the end of him, and that's what happens when you choke out Vision. Now he can use, someone gets caught. You can use the Sun Disc turret to control this being a Senate composition, and Kingan can occupy space over here and try to keep Yoshik out. He and Kellen just going to try to deny Piosha from getting a Q in, forcing his flash. Yeah, you see King in over the wall, just here to zone, and uh, Piosha doesn't really have an in. He's going to go in onto the Tom Kench and gets devoured. And just held in the mouth for quite a while, and uh, that should be the end of that. Piosha desperate. Nice little kick there to potentially save him, but who am I kidding? There's a Rek'Sai who does get into that back line, and he's flashing on top of the Jinx as well, who is not going to get excited. As over the top, here comes the Jax, and that just might be the nail in the coffin. We'll see how many kills they do get on the back of this side, or this fight rather, as BD on the kite is not good enough, as even the gold card will be denied of the saving of the lives. As now DK gonna push it to the top side, and we will have our silver scrapes. There we go, that's all it takes. A nice attempt there from KT, all things considered. Perfect avoids death, tries to set up the gold card, but they are just hit over the head by the 11,000 gold lead, the wallets of D+. Too heavy in this one, an oppressive early game, the lost lane for perfect, bottom side of disaster, and Showmaker coming up big, finally waking up in this series. And D+, as you say, will bring us to five games. The prophecy foretold a fifth game between KT. <laughs> I mean, this is actually so insane value. Nar value, Azir value, Alistair is not going to be going towards his bottom side jungle. And KT immediately know this. Okay, Kyoshi coming over. BDD. Oh, he's going to flash, but he flashes and immediately gets chained up. And the shocked Teemo says it all. First blood given over to Lucid. He flashes there in a straight line, and the Showmaker is still able to connect. Aggressive hop, not scared. And uh, I think they had vision of him putting down the control word here, Lucid. But not really going to be able to. Uh, contest too much uh, in the early levels and will get rooted by the Nico if he tries to engage and give the Klista advantage. So, not much that Barrel can do here as Pioshik is found. Jumping out Very awkward survive. spot for him. I mean, there's just no escape. He doesn't even flash. He's like, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm caught. I'm dead. And he accepts it. And that's another kill. Hop it's away and maybe it's an up. But here goes Showmaker from the mid lane. And this is a mini Nar without hop, without flash. And he gets slowed up, and he is just absolutely dead. Another pickoff from DK in this early game. Such a confident start here for D+. Lucid, arguably having the best game of his series so far here. Extremely high impact. All out is available. He doesn't have Meganar. This is just this is free. I mean, there's just no way to get out of this, really. Orange and buff. Yeah, orange buff making his return. OK, well, this is one way. Delay and get some TPs. Now we got a TP in from Showmaker as well. And BDD's like, oh god, why did I even come up here? <laughs> so, uh, you know, at least he'll get the TP out of Showmaker, I guess. But again, it's the Silas pick that you don't see coming. Sometimes with Showmaker, when it's the R5 counter pick, you kind of wait and you go, which meta pick will he play? Or is this on a consistent level? Just pull into the pocket picks of Showmaker more often as BDD in trouble. Oh, here we go again. Kicked immediately into the Pop Blossom. He goes down. And again, it's all set up. Yeah. He was, he here? was here. Like he was so confused about where Lucid's pathing was, and I thought it was just gonna be BDD being like, "Oh man, mad respect for this guy's pathing," but just, I mean, I guess that is in a way what he said. He kinda, yeah. This is still a relatively close game. DK in the advantage, but KT set up on the Drake. Can they make it happen? Is really the question. Lucid spotted on the flank. As now the chain of corruption does come down immediately. Beats call gonna be used pretty early on here. Lucid on the flank. Pioshik getting low, they're going to use the Fates Call, they get Lucid in the back line, but Pioshik is already dead as the Nako comes in on a death. Perfect has to flash away, and that should be an easy smite going the way of DK on this one. As, okay, they'll eventually do it, there you go. 
And now looking for a bit more. They get the chains in on to death. As now he's hopping away for dear life. But there's a Lee Sin who is in the thick of things. Gets the slow down. And BDD desperate to get away from this one. But he will also be taking out DK. It's been so long since Deft has, has been with this squad. So they made it to a finals. As uh, the real Kellen is still lurking. <laughs> Yeah, they're just kind of having their fun with Pilchik right now. Got to be careful. Don't want to get comboed. But at this point, I guess, with the lead they have, they are confident. I mean, they haven't really made a mark on this game just yet. It's not quite as one-sided as game to get caught on. EDD on this flank, too, wants to make a heroic stand on this dragon. Pilchik has not been winning these smite wars. Both these teams are playing this so slow, so carefully. King and now he's taking a decent amount, but a huge piercing arrow comes through and goes to Lucid on the lease. And he's going to pick it up. And Showmaker just going to enter the fight. Now he's going to miss the chains, but he is unkillable. Flashes on a death and will take him out. BDD is all alone. In goes Pilchik. He dies as well. And DK are so close to taking this game in this series. Plus, they're just going to run straight at this Baron. They have Infernal Soul for all that extra damage. Oh, no. Perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, trying to predict the hop. It's not going to happen. And Perfect is going to stay calm. But that's still going to be Baron going over to the side of D plus here. Perfect lives. And that's the only happy news. And I don't sure, know. But this one, it, it's more painful. Yeah. Safeguard I, dodge. I, I, bye bye. I it's safe to say. Yeah, this one is definitely more painful. Oh, man. No flash on Lucid. They thought maybe they had the angle. But he's just too quick. Opponent is a rookie jungler in Lucid. We knew he had it in him. But uh, just, uh, you know, slow, uh, slow growth from the side of Lucid. He's coming in here when it matters most. And DK just one step away from taking this and moving on to double elimination in the playoffs. BDD ulted to try to kill Lucid. He doesn't have his ult back up just yet. So D plus, no, there's no real engage threat here. If they just maintain their distance and let the ranged minions, the cannon minions, do the work. Slowly chipping away at this base. They don't have to end the game right now. They already got an inhibitor. And they will have Cryo. Of course, the inhibitor being down topside means it's on the opposite side of the map of the Elder. So that pressure will be there. And KT will have to respond to that when the Elder spawns. If we get to that point, if they don't die in the next 230. But that's what I'm saying is KT, they're under so much pressure. Yeah, they're just going in for this one. Look at the damage out of this. Silas, it's insane, and he's unkillable because he has a breakable will. Yeah, and he's, he just continues to take this Alistair ultimate and get huge value out of it. It's the best one. And BDD doesn't want Empress Divide there. He's like, I'm not pulling that. Um, Perfect should be fine here to complete this back, but even if you do that, if it's a flip, Lucid's winning the flips. Well, this is not what I meant. Uh, <laughs> Pilchik is going to get caught out, and he flashes, and he doesn't have Crescent Guard. He is dead. And there's, I mean, now he doesn't have Flash. Uh, I don't know if we get to the Elder anymore. I think with the dead, Jin Zhao, D plus are saying that's three and Hibs, and we're pushing to end. They're just so strong at this point, and Fate's Call is picked up here from the side of Showmaker. <laughs> you see the zoom in as well. Just the insane amount of damage that they are doing in this front line, aiming, running through the soldiers. It's just going to get Fate's Call. What are you going to do? Can't catch anyone. D plus Kia on the doorstep to winning in this first match of the playoffs. And they're taking their time with it. They do not want to overstep. Stacking these waves here. They have the Elder as a backup win condition. Koshik, no flash. Look at how low he's got. Oh, no. BDD. BDD just tries to send it. He gives it at all. his all, but it is not quite enough. Showmaker is underneath the turrets, and he does not care because he still has that Alistair ultimate. This game is over as D plus Kia will be moving on to the next stage of the double elimination bracket here at the Uri Bank playoffs. As down will go the Nexus, this best of five goes to D plus Kia. Showmaker, the first to stand up with his team. People chanting.